this is the way these two men were. I mean, uh, they sort of went into the struggle knowing that things like this happened to people. These people are trying to tell us how to run our business. I think the people of this country will not tolerate one big corporation behaving irresponsibly. They are killing the goose that lays the golden egg. And he's sitting up there in the penthouse, and maybe one of the problems is the, that the air is so thin up there that people can't think clearly. Labor is driving business out of existence. The Ford strike will continue as long as it is necessary for Ford workers to get that measure of justice to which they are entitled. Well, Walter was one of the early masters of use of the media, and he set the stage for negotiations by reciting his demands, if you will. The press would follow along, pictures would be taken, comments would be made, and put the companies on the defensive, which is exactly what he wanted. He went out and he got this incredible benefits packages, not in, only in health care, but in pension plans, in vacation pay, in all sorts of this huge array of highly innovative policies. I think the fact that uh, the, the brothers worked as closely, coordinated as, as well, you know, enhanced the whole kind of uh, presence 